Okay. I'm launching here, okay? Think we are entering YouTube now. I don't have a lot of experience on doing that, right? I was just thinking the opposite. <laughs> no, I don't have. <laughs> I'm not that experienced person. Okay, it's opening. True. Okay. Hey, Eduardo, how you doing? Hi, hi, please. Hello, fine, Eduardo. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. Nice Hello. to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you too. Hey Eduardo, how you doing? <laughs> Fine, thanks. <laughs> my voice just came. I think my voice just came through your computer, Andrea. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was from. Now it's okay for us to start. I mean, here with no sound and my computer is no sound too. So welcome everybody. We have 20 people subscribed here, but the I'm going to just start because we have one hour, right? So let's go there. I'm That's going to open fun. here. Yeah because I have class after our meeting. I'm going to, to share with you our presentation. Do you see my screen, people? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Okay, mm -hmm. right. So people, I was very happy when I saw that you voted pitch, because this is something, it is an issue I like a lot, and Cliff too, because we have already studied and did a workshop with this. You remember, Cliff, a all-day-long mm -hmm. workshop on communication. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and when we start working with selling, I don't know if uh, you work with selling, in business, we use pitch a lot, but it's not only on pitch that we use on, on selling that we use a lot of pitch. We use it in our everyday lives when we we want to, to sell our image, to, to sell a course, or even in a job interview, sometimes you need to go there and to make our pitch. If you go to a networking <coughs> group, you need to make a pitch. So that's a very, very good thing for us to, to study and talk about. Right? So you are all very welcome. And if you want to invite other people to watch the, the live on YouTube, you can also do that. So, Cliff? Okay, what are we gonna what are we gonna take a look at today? So at the beginning, we're going to discuss the hero's journey. That's been part of the seminal experience for since the beginning, I think, right? Or more. Mm -hmm. um, we'll talk a little bit about the company, and I'll give an introduction to what's an what a, is an elevator pitch. Tell you a little bit about Dan Pink, who's the author of the book we're focusing on today. Uh, then we'll describe the services that Seminole has to send. And then Giacolini is going to tell us a little bit about uh, C4. Okay. And Jacques has a lot of good products and services for professionals in, a, in exchange programs. So I think that she is a very rich a very rich partner to introduce you. So people about the hero's journey, I think everybody who is our student know about that because when we talk 
about it, I always thought that everything in our lives is a cycle and we are following steps to achieve our goals. And everything in our lives begins, it starts at the comfort zone. We receive a call and then we start a journey. And it doesn't happen only when we study English, but in everything in our lives, you receive a calling. So you need to change something in our, our private life. So this is a call. And sometimes we need to follow step by step to achieve our goals. And then we have each step is a new challenge. You do you remember in the in the in the hero's journey, we have the calling, then we get a person who is gonna go with us when we we win the first the first challenge we we achieve. So we have a lot of situations in the, the hero's journey for us to achieve our goals. And so when we are aware about our journey, we can have a better strategy to achieve our success independent where we are. And I I say, I mean, I, I really love the hero's journey. I bought the philosophy book about it because I think it's very nice, but it is very complicated because they don't work only about the hero's journey, but a lot of challenges that human being faces during its life. I think everybody who's here has already seen my, my talk about uh, hero's journey. So. There's a great quote from Campbell that I love that is, um, it's the cave that you most fear to enter that holds the treasure you most seek. And it's like one of the key parts of the, of the philosophy of the hero's journey, that we have to overcome our fears in order to get what, a, what we want in life. So Andrea and I have been, have been working together for like a decade now. And when we, when we first started working together, we identified that a lot of professionals need help with international communication. So I think it was around seven or eight years ago that we created the seminal brand and decided to focus specifically on helping professionals in career development. Um, and we try to, uh, we try to include as much as we can information that's useful to our clients beyond the fact that we just, uh, help them with their English communication. So we try to bring information that's going to be helpful in your business career, or that's going to help you develop personally and professionally. And then now we are going to enter in what is speech. People, if you want to ask any question while we are talking, don't worry, you can ask us, right? So the basic meaning on about speech, it is persuasion. It is, a, it, I found it on Cambridge Dictionary. And uh, it, uh, they focus on selling. You sell things and you persuade somebody else to buy something. But currently, there are a lot of meanings for pitch and different ones. And uh, the first one that I believe everybody has already seen is the elevator pitch that Cliff is going to talk a little bit about it, okay? And Cliff is very, very good to explain about elevator pitch. You guys have probably heard the idea of the elevator pitch before. Imagine you, you find yourself in an elevator in a building or in a hotel, and suddenly your dream investor is, is in the elevator with you. And you have a limited number of floors that you've got the person's 
devoted attention. The idea of an elevator pitch is to concisely explain uh, what it is that you offer, not necessarily what you sell, but what it is that you offer, and to that to help the other person solve uh, a problem that they have. So the formula for an elevator pitch is actually incredibly simple. It really just has four parts. Now we we want to try ideally to keep our pitch in the area of 60 seconds. Shorter is not bad. But if you go above 90 seconds, it's not really an elevator pitch. Now in different situations you can see that there are pitches that are different lengths. Uh, we, we frequently talk about a six minute pitch when you're dealing with a new client. So, uh, a the elevator pitch isn't the only kind. So this formula is very simple guys. First is an introduction. Who am I? Then I want to talk about a problem that the person I'm talking to needs to solve. Then I'm going to offer them a solution to the problem. And then I'm going to ask a question or give them a specific call to action. So we always want to end our pitch with the ball in the court of the other person. We want them to take action at the end of our pitch. So we want to try to be as concise as possible. And here's a, here is my basic seminal pitch. Hi, I'm Cliff Nickerson. I'm one of the directors at Seminole. I deal with a lot of professionals who work in international business who would, or who would like to advance their careers and take an international step. Lots of the people I talk to every day need to express themselves effectively to an international audience. Through our communication-based method, we help people to overcome their mental blocks and acquire the skills they need to connect with the international audience. Get in touch with us at 12 9439 and we can help you to reach the next level in your career. Now, uh, Simon Sinek likes to structure the pitch in a slightly different direction. Simon Sinek says the first thing you should say is the reason that you do what you do. Then he says you should say how you do that. And then he says that you should say what it is you do. So if we use the next model, I, I'm going to say Seminole is focused on the success of our clients. Through a communication-based method, we help people to hone their skills. Get in touch with us and we can help you to reach the next level of your career. I'm including all of the same basic information. It's just that Sinek believes that you should put your purpose first. Because if, if you can establish that your purpose is the same as the purpose of the, of the person you're pitching to, it uh, helps you to establish common ground at the beginning. And then once you're on common ground, the rest of it is, is a little bit easier. Okay. So, so I don't know if you guys are taking notes today, but remember our pitch basically has four parts, introduction, problem, solution, and call to action. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, does that, does anybody would you like to, to do your, your pitch? Think about something about yourself and Tell about your something you want to sell, your image or your company. Let's go, Gustavo. You have a company. I'm his client. Oh, let's. <laughs> uh, uh, we are your clients. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Gustavo. I work in Inkto with market. I help people to get. Uh, uh, to do more business uh, with the market on the internet. I think it's it. 
This one is the easiest model, okay? You give a, you, we Gustavo, can call to action at the end. Let's set up a time you, to talk about your business. Uh, you know? Yes, you can find uh, and see more about our job on Instagram. Uh, Impeto, uh, Agência Impeto. How can I say? Arroba? Uh, at. At, at Agência Impeto on Instagram. Okay. So people follow our agency, okay? Gustavo is a very good, has a very good agents. Thank you, thank you. Okay, there's somebody. Okay, Bia. But you are I'm going to... I'm asking, my, I'm asking my director, she's here, so... Yes. <laughs> Well, I didn't realize that was your director, Jacqueline. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Hey, yes. <laughs> hello. Hello, boss. <laughs> hello, the boss there. is here, guys. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I can't. I am in a room that I can't light it up because I am like five hours ahead of you. I am in Portugal, so everybody's sleeping. So, so sorry about that. <laughs> but you know, I I was in an international seminar in um, London. And then I flew to Portugal today to be with my family. And that's been amazing. So far, so good. But Jacqueline, it's, it's, I really appreciate being here with you. Uh, I think you are both talking about something that's very, very important. Oh, that yes. is uh, pitch. And pitch is one of the most important things in business. And uh, just... Uh, presenting myself, I am Ana Beatriz Valhaber. I am the founder and CEO of CP4 Cultural Projects. We are educational advisors for the past 33 years. And our main office is in Rio de Janeiro. And Jacqueline, who is there with you, is our key person in Sao Paulo and Lorena. And in, so we are very happy. And we, um, we have this, we work with four different age ranges. Teens, young adults, uh, corporate, and seniors. But we complement what you do, guys, <laughs> because we send to almost 35 different countries. So it's a multicultural uh, opportunity for everybody. And speaking about that, Jack, I am going ahead just and then you complement, but we are very excited to present a program that's going to happen in Disney, guys. <laughs> and then she's going to present this to you. I appreciate being here. And uh, I'm here to help you in any way. Jacques is there. And I'm in Rio de Janeiro. And my call to action is <laughs> I'm here to help. Okay. Call on. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you so very much and uh, enjoy your time here and there uh, because it's uh, fantastic. And I did appreciate, I do appreciate what you are doing and the kind of course you are presenting. Guys, enjoy. Bye-bye. So people, everybody's going to have a chance to talk a little bit, okay? But we have other models too. We only saw the first one. That is the elevator pitch. That is the most common in the market. Then we have other creative pitches, creative models that Daniel Pink has brought to us. Daniel Pink is a, a guy... Who, who wrote six models, right? But he has one very famous that we are going to talk about. So Cliff, can you talk a little bit about Daniel Pink? Daniel Pink, um, I think he first started uh, to get people's attention back during the Clinton administration. He worked in the, in the Clinton administration in the 1990s. And he was Robert Reich, the Secretary of Labor's uh, special assistant. He was Al Gore's personal speechwriter. Um, he 
has a doctorate in law from Yale Law School. So wow. one of the best law schools in the world, right? He has his doctorate. And kind of what's extraordinary is Dan Pink has written seven books in his career. He writes books about self-help, about developing your career, about sales. Of his seven books, five of them have been the top book on the New York Times bestseller list. So he is highly respected in the United States and, and really quite well known. Right. Um, but I guess I'd say he kind of first got my attention back in the 1990s as, as part of the Clinton administration. And this book, To Sell as Human, is a, an essential book, not just for people who work in sales, because I think all of us have to sell all the time. I know we talk about job interviews a lot at Seminole, but that's kind of the best sales example that I that I can think of that comes up in everyone's lives. You're going to do a job interview from one side or the other. If I interview a potential teacher who's going to come to work for Seminole, I'm going to have to sell Seminole to them. And that teacher who's coming to interview with me to work with me at Seminole has to sell themselves to me. So the idea in the book is not just direct sales, it's uh, also personal marketing, right? Okay. I highly recommend it. And it's, it's a good read too. It, it's not a book that you have to break your head to understand. He wants you to understand what he's writing, you know? So his prose is really very clear and, and easy to understand. Yes, his English is good to read. I, I read the complete book. And uh, he works a lot on behavior in the beginning because he wants you to convince people to, to buy your products or service. That's why it's the surprising truth about moving others, okay? It's very good. If you have the chance, I think it's 24 reais on Kindle. If you buy the book, the physical book, it's more than 100 reais, I think, because it's imported, okay? It's very good. This is his most famous model of, um, uh, of pitch, the Pixar pitch. And he used it the, as a model, uh, Finding Nemo, the, that's one of the uh, very, very beautiful movie, very cute. I watched it when my son was a baby. And then he said, we need to follow this sequence to get a, a good story. It's a kind of storytelling, the pitch, the Pixar pitch. If you look for more information, you can find Daniel Pink doing this, this pitch online, okay? Well, he has, a, he has a short video where he talks about this, right? Yes, Pink, Pink Cast, something like this. Pink Cast. Mm -hmm. And he explains, he does this, this, this model. So he says, once upon a time, you need to start storytelling. Once upon a time, hear about, I'm going to tell the story of, of Finding Nemo, right? Then think about your story because you are going to tell your story, okay? So once upon a time, there was a widowed fish who had a baby. And every day, he was very worried about his son, Nemo. Until one day, Nemo uh, faced the challenge of swim, swimming in the open sea. And because of this, he was, he was, catch, he was caught by a dentist who took him to Australia. And because of this, Martin, who was the founder, needed to swim all over the ocean to arrive in Australia. And he knew sharks and turtles, and he travels all, traveled all around the, the sea until finally he found his son and they went back to their, to their house 
in the anemone was the name of the, the plant, okay, that where they live. And then Martin became a very brave fish because he was a, he was not a brave fish. He was afraid of everything. Okay. So this is the story, but you can you can use your information about it, about your company, about your career. Who wants to, to face this challenge and to tell to tell the story? Thelma, would you like to tell the story about your company? Using him, we sorry, using Pixar. I will put it here. Using Pixar model. I can try. Okay. Let's uh, go. Okay. Once so one upon a time, I decided to have my company. Um, and every day I think about what kind of company I would like to to, I would like to develop and uh, I started to choose the product. And, and I study every, every many different products and until one day I decided to have a, to started to sell some houses because it's, it's uh, because I'm working with construction and it's it's uh, it's work together to sell some houses um, ah yes and because of this um, I started a new journal to my life uh, I work more than I work uh in my last uh, job <laughs> but nobody told me about it <laughs> and because of this i i i mm, i i need to develop another side in my life i need to 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 stay in different situations, in different uh, places with different people, and until finally, I I think it is my thought. I think that the I'm I am going to the correct way way because I have only one month in my company, but I'm happy because many people want, want to help us and believe in, in my company. And uh, I think it's good for me and for my company. Good. Would you like, uh, do we have time for one more person, Cliff? Oh, he's in the mute. Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> if okay. somebody else would like to try, we have time for one more. Yeah. Let's go. Ana, Rafael. I'm telling the names I'm seeing here. Fred. Fred. No? I will try. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Once upon a time, I, I entered the first meeting in English in the company, King House Gold Corporation. And I, I, I have no idea why, but uh, I didn't understand nothing. So in this time, I started, I started studying English in the year is uh, 9, 20, 6, 17, 2017. And, uh, I, and uh, every day I studied six times, six uh, days per week, and the, um, uh -huh. uh, more or less two hours per day. And one uh -huh. year, two years, and uh, I have saved and I invite 
and uh, one to one day I received an invite to a, a multinational company as a producer mine in the hairy earth. And the, I, I start to improve my English in the, the business and the business and the with, with more grammar. Anyway, and because of this, uh, my career increased. No, I start to increase and uh, my, I, my career start to increase and I change my, my job, the position in the plan engineer to uh, project manager, uh, project manager officer. And they start and they start with the other company, and they go to mine too, other state of Brazil. Uh, and because this, I never stopped study English. So until finally, uh, today I, I work in the in the only with the Canadian guys and the Norwegian guys, and I am very happy to speak English more or less. But I. My, my mission, my my uh, never stopped studying English. So I I I I, I need to go ahead with seminar in other years and uh, never never stop it because uh, I I I'm very happy to to study English all day with you with you. Yes. We are very happy with this. <laughs> the quickly. Quick short. English is forever. It's my mission to I study forever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Change uh, our IP uh, is in the cell phone too. Uh, our our uh, AP is in, in English too. Anyway, never stop. Never, never, and they never uh, for it not to. Uh, I lost. I lost the word. But anyway, you never need to stop. Good. So, and then we never have... Give up. Yes, never give up. So, and here we have more five models from pink. Okay, Cliff? Clearly in the book, he's going to give a lot of detail about these. I just, I have to give a quick overview and give you guys a little bit of an idea of how to use these different types of pitches. Not every kind of pitch is ideal for everything that you're that you're trying to do or everything you're trying to sell. Um, and and to an extent, we can we can take a little bit of what's said with a grain of salt. In our first example, the one word pitch said Dan says. We should start with writing a concise pitch that's around 50 words. Then go into that 50 word pitch and get rid of half of the words. Right. So now I've just got 25. Then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to cut it down to 12. And when I get my pitch to six words, one of those words should be the one word pitch. I have to say that his example in the book, his one word pitch is actually three words. Like he kind of creates a compound word. But the idea is to make it as concise as possible and uh, try to get the person's attention with a single word. The question pitch is an interesting one. Because the idea is, I'm going to ask a person a question, but it's a question that they need an answer to and that I have the answer to. So the question pitch is a is really good if I have if I have really strong arguments for sales, the question pitch is excellent because I posit the question and the person who I'm talking to, you know, once should want to know the answer, it builds anticipation and they should want to know the answer. And then my arguments are pre-prepared. So the question pitch is not just the question. I have to have the question and I have to have strong arguments to answer. it. Um, the rhyming pitch, I was playing around with this within the past couple of days and I can't make a rhyming pitch for Seminole that doesn't embarrass me. 
I I just don't have the I I think I don't have the the right character to use this in a way that makes sense. But there's a great example of a guy who uses rhyming pitch in the American presidential elections now. Uh, the candidate Vivek uses lots of rhymes in his campaigning. So it's a way to grab people's attention. And sometimes the idea that he's that he's selling you with that rhyme sticks in your head. Right. So uh, even a politician can use a, a rhyming pitch. The subject line pitch is a good one for people who uh, work with a lot of email in their jobs. The idea is you get the subject line from, from the last 20 emails that you send. And, and of those 20 subject lines, you're going to analyze which one of them gives a concise description of what you do. We don't always have it in our last 20 subject lines, but it's also an interesting point. The subject line of an email is a pitch to a certain degree. So sometimes it, it this the idea of the subject line pitch can make us think a little bit better about the subject line that we're going to use in an email that we send to someone. Because these days, I think the average time a person spends on an email is three to four minutes, which that might not be enough time for the for the client to get what I'm trying to sell them or for my boss to get the project I'm trying to pitch or or, or even to get someone to come to a meeting, a meeting that I have at work. So Lisa, yes. I today I had a very good idea about subject line pitch because and I sent the video on our students group because the girl she is very motivational and she sent me an email with this me this message how to ruin your life in 30 easy steps I opened to see that and I sent <laughs> the video in the group because how it's to ruin very your life good. in 30 easy steps uh -huh. Yes, but she was very assertive on that. Very mm -hmm. good. I put it on our group, and then if you want to take a look, people, it is it is really good. And it's completely and, uh, the, in English. Okay. And the last model that that Pink talks about is the Twitter pitch. Twitter gives us 140 characters in order to express an idea. And this goes back more or less to the old idea of a 15-word pitch that's been floating around since the 1980s, I think. If you can say what it is that you need to say, if you can get your message down so that it's within a tweet, but Dan Pink is really clever, and he says, make sure your pitch is 120 characters rather than 140, because that makes it easier for people to retweet. If they want to make a little comment, it gives them a couple words for them to make a comment. So you want to try to use 120 letters or less to express the, the central idea that you want to sell. Clearly in the book, he's going to go into a lot more detail about all these and give a lot more tips. But just for you to have uh, a basic idea of the types of pitch that he's recommending. Yeah. I'm going to try to send, I'm going to try, no, I'm going to send you the, the pink cast for you to see him doing his presentation too. And uh, would you like to try one of these models? Who? Who wants to face this challenge? About this, the one word pitch, Cliff and I, when we put, uh, we get, we got Seminole's name, it was a challenge because we needed to look for a lot of words 
and we arrived at Seminole. And it was a, a real challenge for us. Do you want to try, people, one of the models or not? No, nobody. It's I'm more, I'm a little concerned with time because we have to let uh, Jacqueline okay. talk. So okay. I don't okay. know how much time we have for, for that. We have 15 minutes. Okay. So people here, I added our services. Okay. We have classes for English development, mentoring, job interviews. We have a lot of clients who have already done this kind of, of service with us. We also have translations. If you need some translations for your company, you can talk to us. And we also have, this is a new product, okay? I started with this this year because some companies needed our help to do a proficiency test, test inside the company with their, their employees. Then we, we did this test with them. It's a seminal test, it is different. So if any company needs it, we can also provide this service. And then now I'm going to give Jacqueline some time for her to speak about her business. I know Jacque for forever. And, <laughs> and so, no, I'm not going to talk about you, Jack. You okay, can talk about I should, her. Okay, I should start with with a pitch, right? Okay, so, let's go. <laughs> I'm just made up here. Um, okay, so with more than I'm Jacqueline Denise, with more than 17 years of experience in the international biz, international educational business. Um, I have been an exchange student myself. I have lived abroad for almost five years. So I can provide you, provide my clients, not only the bureaucracy of the, the situation, I can provide you um, the feeling and I can assure all of my clients during this amazing experience, what you're gonna what what is gonna happen to you from the beginning throughout the full program and i am sure that not only studying english at seminole but also living an experience abroad is going to confirm uh, and present you an extraordinary extraordinary uh, opportunity to improve your career, as Fred told us, um, help you to be uh, more comfortable at your work, maybe have idea to develop your business and get to know better yourself. Um, an experience abroad is not to only learn another language, it's to learn much more about you and about the culture and about the world and Cliff is here to <laughs> to let us know more than than me so today this is my pitch <laughs> okay. um, today I'm here to present to you my work actually and I would like to start in another way right so I trained um, I in another way so I've I have a 10 years old uh, niece and she is very able to create in, our, in her mind uh, and believe actually that Frozen uh, can create a, a castle, an, a nice castle or she believes that, you know, uh, Nemo was able to, <laughs> to pull out, pull, pull off the, the the window. aquarium and, and really find himself in, in, in the ocean as a 10 years old. And somehow every, ch every child can dream, you know, and we, as a, we get adult, we kind of lose that 
ability of dreaming and creating and pursuing our dreams and we becoming in the, this our little box of our mind here that we cannot do this we're not able no you you can't no you have to do only your script and you have to do only uh, you're not able to study English you're not able to learn that you're too old you're too this and that and I'm here to tell you that it's not so um, this day is one program that we are providing here oops so we're going to I work now as I told you for 17 years and I work now for CP4 CP4 as Bia told you is a company for more than 30 years in the market I am in this market in this industry for 17 years old 17 years now and CP4 works with in, uh, companies like um, Seminole, other schools and universities, and we provide very personalized programs. And this program is a program very personalized because we can, yeah, this is the new one. <laughs> so this is a program thought and especially special um, chosen for uh, people that are in the market, are already working in, the co in companies, are leaders, have teams, or have their business, but need to know, get, need tools to provide, to increase their work. So, who better to give us um, keys than Disney as a business, as um, dreamers, you know, than Disney. So this program, this program will be a program running inside Disney in Orlando for 10 days. So the, the full program will be 12 days, 10 days inside Disney with uh, five workshops, one workshop with um, Rafael Araújo, who is um, a career professional. He is a special, specialist to provide um, a career development here in Brazil, and he is going to accompany the group. So it's a group. In, it will be in February, so Carnival. Everybody here probably don't want to lose time in Carnival. You want to invest your time and your money on your careers. So this is the um, uh, this is the program uh, to go. I can send you the all the opportunities, all the details uh, about it. How, how long do I have, Andrea? Have 10 minutes, okay? I still have Go 10 ahead. minutes. So, yeah. um, as I told you, the program, it will be inside Disney. So, will be five workshops. Let's do it. Translate. So, guys, I don't speak English every day, right? So, <laughs> I know my English is okay, but I don't speak English every day. So, the workshop will be leadership, training, corporate training, storytelling, which will, is just um, uh, matching with the, the class today. You know, storytelling is cons uh, building narratives to sell your business, to sell your, your uh, meeting with the company, like uh, one of us said. Um, the other, so I told you three. Team working, so you see how Disney works as a team working. The other workshop is building theme parks 
which will be uh, helping you not to build a theme park, but to help you to construct your creativity. How you can, you know, just blow your mind and think out of the box, but also think how you can create um, an amazing an amazing experience for your customer, for your team, for your uh, boss. Because as Andrea said, we are selling ourselves and our work all the time for your partner when you're doing an interview, whatever. Even with our husband, with our kids, we are all the time selling and exchanging things. So the more we know, the more we can um, improve and get as um, the words keep disappearing from my mind. So don't worry, don't <laughs> worry about that, Jack. <laughs> and the last oh. one, uh, I told you five workshops. The last one is the most um, exciting one for my as for my view is the Disney Secret, which is the one that we can um, you can visit the Disney background. You know, it's not background. Mm -hmm. I I don't know if you have um, anybody here had a chance to go to Disney. No, mm -hmm. I have. And it's wonderful, isn't it? So when you go there, there's this big avenue, but everybody, everybody, you know, Mickey Mouse and all the Cinderella and everybody and all the workers, they get to, when they get ready, is in the stage below. So the floor we walk in, the avenue there is the second floor, let's say, is the second floor because everything happens below that. So this course, this workshop, the last one, you, be, you will be able to visit the, the floor below and see how the magic happens. <laughs> because Disney, Disney um, they think the way of Disney thinking is the magic doesn't happen when they are upstairs doing the show. The magic happens below when they are getting ready and well, the magic happens there, but they call the show. So uh, you're going to learn also the five keys to the success, the success, success. Mm -hmm. So when you the, are doing the courses, you're going to be in contact with the Disney instructors. So you be, you're going to be able to practice your English all the time. Even though Rafael is a Brazilian guy, he's English fluent. So you'll be practicing your English all the time. The instructors are from Disney and all the workshops will be in English. You get a, you get a certificate. Uh, you'll be hosted inside Disney resorts. So I think it's Pop Centuries Resort. You get one, one hour extra in the park in the morning, one hour extra in the evening and much more. So details, I'm talking basically about the course because here we are talking about education, right? And just for curiosity, I was, everything you learn about Disney is amazing when you get to details, right? So I'm gonna, as we saying, we learned today about pitch and about sales, I'm gonna tell you one curiosity. Um, Disney, Walt Disney, when, when you walk in, into the parks, you see most of the parks in the whole world, they have the same entrance avenue. 
that avenue is um, reminds him from the city where where he was not he was born but he he was to visit when he was a child right and he when he was alive he asked the his maintenance team to paint all the how do i say poste i forgot Posts. the lamps mm -hmm. the lamp post lamp post right mm -hmm. okay so vocabulary is going away so the lamp post he asks to paint the lamp post to be painted every night so every night in every park disney park all over the world i are painted we don't i i didn't know that and and you know they asked why 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 are you asking that the managers asking asked Walt Disney, and he said, look, if our employees see that we treat our lampposts with this care and this, um, not only our employees, our customers also, but our employees see that we look after our lamppost with this care, how do you think they are going to look after our guests? So Disney is not about only, it is not fake, you know, is, is an, a, a way of thinking. They get in the, their mind, um, is a way of education. Disney has an institution to, to work in there, you have to be trained. So it's very nice to know that we're going to have this course inside Disney and bring this amazing opportunity of learning and maybe bringing this to our clients, to our family, to our business, to our team, you know, if you are, uh, if you have a, a team to run and every, everybody's very welcome and invited. I'm here to answer your questions now. <laughs> hey, uh, Jacqueline is a cheesiest lover. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Once, once you were there, you have to love that. I I didn't use to love it. <laughs> okay. People, I'm going to send Jacqueline contacts to everybody, okay? Because I have a class after now. And then if you want to know more, we can send them the flyers, right, Jack? Because yeah, the whole one the... I, I sent you today. Yeah, you sent me. And then I'm going to send it to you. Then if you have uh, interest, if you want to do this kind of... Uh... I'm going to leave my phone re here, right? Okay. And then, people, it's uh, this kind of training. It's for improvement. English, as, as Fred said, as I said, is forever. We, and even sometimes if you leave it abroad... And you come back to Brazil and you don't speak English anymore, you forget it. So, like, like you. <laughs> then, this is something I say, you need to practice speak English every day. Try to speak something, try to listen to something, try to watch a TED Talk, but never stop studying English because it is, it is challenging to achieve a level and it is very easy to lose. Okay. Cliff, would you like to say something? We're going to send everybody the ebook. It has Jacqueline's contact mm -hmm. as well. Jacqueline, you just type your, your area code as 12. Is your area code 12? 
I think we put 21 in the presentation. It's, it's the number. 21 um, is because of some people are not from here, from Lorena, right? 21 mm, yeah. is, is the, is the um, number contact. of the contact of um, CP4. Okay. So it, it goes straight to yeah. our system. But then if you have a, a question, I'm, I'm, this is my phone here, so mm -hmm. I'm available throughout them. Okay. Okay. okay, great. All right, people. So people, that's this for tonight. I hope you like it, the experience to be here on YouTube with us. It is, was the, only the first class we, we invited you, but we intend to do other, other classes on YouTube too because it's important to, to have a, some movement on our social media and also for people to know us better. And thank you very much to come to be here with us tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Andrea. Thank Thanks, Cliff. Thanks, everyone. For thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, people. Bye-bye. Good night.